and welcome! Today we are taking a full look at the extremely exciting Adventure Force branded Dart Zone Nexus Pro X. This blaster looks really great, so let's jump right in. Now included in the box is of course the Nexus Pro X itself. We have the buffer tube stock, a slightly better than average Dart Zone scope, two of the newer style Dart Zone magazines, which I love. These are the exact same as the one that came with the Aeon Pro X, except these are orange instead of purple. We also get 24 of the Ember styled Pro Darts, a front sight piece, that same extra O-ring that came with the Aeon Pro X, and the same awesome scar barrel that came with the Aeon Pro X, but also the B car. The sparing scar is super cool. We do get this eye protection. It also came with the Aeon Pro X and I have used it and I love this eye protection. Also, of course, we do get the instructions. Now that we have the Nexus Pro X out of the box, let's go over the blaster. First off, we do have the same dual magazine release system that was present on the Aeon Pro X. So the front magazine can be very easily struck like this. And the one back here cannot be pushed from the back, but has to be pulled. And the magazines will gravity drop, which is awesome. This is a super smooth system. Also like the Aeon Pro X, like you just saw, I do not have to prime the blaster back to take out the magazine. Fantastic. Right here we do have the safety. When you push from the left side, you are safe. And when you push from the right, you are ready to fire. Back here we do have the buffer tube compatible stock. Also, if we look at the top of the stock, there is this switch. If you push it, you can access this compartment in the back. Currently I do have the extra O-ring in there and that's what they recommend. But of course you could put whatever you want in there. The blaster does have three Picatinny style rails, one on the right one on the left, and a long one on the top. Remember that the original Nexus Pro did not have a flat rail on top and it bugged some people. So this will make a lot of individuals very happy and appreciate this design. On top, of course, we do have two sight pieces, one in the front and this scope in the back. This scope actually has some pretty nice crosshairs that correspond well with the piece up front. Now this blaster does include two different scar barrels in the box. One of them is this standard threaded scar. I really like this scar barrel, it works great. It does reduce your FPS performance a little bit, but it makes your blaster very accurate. And I do really love this design. You can use it on almost any dart zone blaster, but simply by flipping it around, you can use it on blasters with an exposed metal barrel. That makes this very versatile and incredibly cool. And this one does fit nicely into this little storage spot right here. Of course, this is not the real barrel. The actual firing barrel is the lower one. The other scar that you get in the box is this one. Right now I have it on this attachment because this one will not fit in this spot. So if you are using the standard scar and not this one, this is where you could store it. But this thing is clearly the better scar and the star of the show here. So I'm definitely gonna put it in the main barrel. This blaster has an incredible, practically perfect seal, just like the Aeon Pro X, and the build quality is awesome, the ergonomics are really nice. Of course, you could replace these handles if you wanted to, but I find the front one very comfortable, I like the angle and the extra place for your finger. It makes priming this thing very easy, and we do have rollers under this thing to make priming an even smoother experience. And this rear one is very well textured, I really like it, it's pretty simple, but it works. The overall look of this blaster is pretty cool as well. Just like the Aeon Pro X, we have this very cool layered striping and plenty of really interesting design details painted on both sides. When I'm holding this blaster and considering everything it does, I feel it could have easily gone for over $100 and it's mind blowing that this blaster is going for only $50. Now to fire the blaster, of course, assuming you have darts in the magazine, it's a pump action magazine fed Springer with slam fire. There is some insane power behind this blaster, but let's take the Nexus Pro X outside and put it over the chronograph. Here we are outside with the Nexus Pro X. We are going to fire the brand new included ember darts, but we're gonna try it without anything with the bearing scar and with the standard threaded scar. First, we're gonna try it with the bearing scar. We're claiming 200 feet per second. 199. 196. 202. So we are pretty much hitting that 200 FPS claim. Now we'll take this one off and fire it with nothing. This is completely bare bones, nothing on the front. 201. 198. And a duplicate 198. So that's pretty cool. Yes, we are hitting essentially the same FPS, but that basically means the scar barrel is not reducing your performance. Extremely cool. But now we're going to try the standard threaded scar. I imagine we'll get slightly lower performance with this one, but we'll see. Duplicate to 198. 196. 
and 191. So maybe slightly less performance, but really not that noticeable. This thing gets incredible performance regardless of what you're using up front. Now I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna use the bearing scar up front because you will get the best accuracy and overall performance with it. And I'm gonna put over some bamboo 2.0s because when you think about it, the other dart zone blasters that are claiming 200 feet per second have been the Mark IV and the 1.2. And in both of those reviews, I tested them with bamboo 2.0. So it's only fair to give the Nexus Pro the same opportunity. All right, bearing scar up front, bamboo 2.0, 223. 219, 222, 219, and 220. That right there is some incredible performance. Let's put some darts down range. The consistency is ridiculous. And unlike some other bearing scars, this one is completely silent. Let's throw some of the included darts down range. Now it is a little bit windy out, but this blaster still manages to be incredibly consistent when using the B car. So what are my final thoughts on the Nexus Pro X? This blaster really is everything I hoped it would be and more. The build quality, the ergonomics, the features, the B car up here, the inclusion of two of these phenomenal magazines. The out of box power and consistency you get with this blaster is completely unmatched at this $50 price point. And even if we go to the more expensive offerings, the Nexus Pro X X is still extremely impressive. As far as stock out of the box performance, it beats the Mark IV. That blaster retailed for $180. And while yes, that blaster did feature more metal internals, this thing is still much higher quality than 90% of Nerf blasters. And the inclusion of the B-Car and Threaded Scar, which sell for 20 on their website, make this thing an even crazier value. Keep in mind, you can stick these attachments on virtually all other Dart Zone Pro blasters. And also this blaster, along with the Aeon Pro X have the best mag compatibility we've seen from Dart Zone yet. You can use things like the magazines from the Strife X, which are a 15 round magazine, and you can get two for $10. Other Dart Zone blasters would not accept those magazines. Also, did I mention Dart Zone will offer a spring for this blaster that will bring it up to 250 FPS? Keep in mind, that's also with the Ember Darts. And yes, the spring swapping mechanism is still super simple, pretty much exactly like the original Nexus Pro. Overall, I absolutely adore the Nexus Pro X. It takes everything that really worked well with the Nexus Pro and bumped it up so many levels. For me, this thing seems practically flawless, and I have to give it a 10 out of 10. I highly, highly recommend you check out this blaster, and we'll have the link in my description. Absolutely phenomenal job, Dart Zone. And for everyone else, thank you very much for watching. I would love to hear your thoughts on the Nexus Pro X, and let me know if you have any questions about it. Have a good one, subscribe for more, and happy blasting.